Well, Chelsea Clinton is being sued. The famous author, journalist, humanitarian, television performer, philanthropist, hedge fund genius, political and moral leader, probably war hero too, who is famous for getting by entirely on her own merits, is now being accused of plagiarizing material for her newest book, She Persisted, 13 American Women Who Changed the World. Well, writer Christopher James Kimberly says the book rips off stories and quotations that were used in a book he wrote back in 2013 called A Heart is the Part That Makes Boys and Girls Smart. Kansas Trunzo is senior news editor at The Daily Mail, which broke this story, as it does so many, and she joins us tonight. Candace, Hi, thanks Tucker. for coming on. Thank you. Great to be on. So everyone on this program, anyway, is innocent until proven guilty. Tell right. us the charges against humanitarian leader Chelsea Clinton. Well, she's charged with copyright infringement, um, as is her publisher, Penguin, which is a part of Random House, um, yes. for stealing uh, this author. There is little known author from Albany, New York, his ideas about uh, a, a book for kids that's kind of ins inspirational and tells yes. stories of women who have overcome a great deal. Um, he thinks that she stole his idea. Now, I haven't read her book, I've only read about it, but some of the ideas, and with respect, seem, well, banal and ordinary. So, right. is it possible that maybe there's, there's, the ideas are so obvious that she just kind of picked them up? Well, it, it is possible, absolutely. And uh, she has not responded to the charges yet, nor has the publisher. Um, so we don't really know what she has to say about it. But the author, um, Kimberly, is saying that he actually uh, he pushed his book on, on the uh, publisher, tried to get oh. it published by them. And he says that he, they took his idea, fed it to her, and then, of course, she interpreted it in her own way. But still, it was his idea, his concept. Interesting. Now, Chelsea Clinton's been the recipient of many August awards, not surprisingly, given her awesome achievements, including nice. a recently a Lifetime Achievement Award. Does this imperil any of those awards? Do you think, if it turns out that she plagiarized, will any of those awards be rescinded, do you think? Well, it's very possible. I think that, you know, we have a way to go to determine whether or not she actually did plagiarize or infringe on the copyright right. of, of uh, Mr. Kimberly. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see. I mean, you know, this is her third book. Three uh -huh. does not seem to be a charm for Chelsea. Right. It's just so interesting. I mean, writing a book typically takes a while. It's hard. And here she's yep. been a hedge fund manager and a star over at NBC. And you know, been a political and moral leader on the road with her mom. Like, yeah. Where does she find the time to crank out all these volumes? Well, I mean, it's a very good question. I mean, she's and she's very active in the Clinton Foundation. You might remember sure. that. Um, yeah. She is the vice chair of the foundation, but you still see her bopping around. Um, they were in the Hamptons this week. She and her husband Mark, who's of course out of a job um, since right. his hedge fund went kaput. Um, yes. So um, yeah, they they seem to find the time to have have fun and and kick around. They have two kids, of course. But also to work toward world peace and end childhood obesity and the climate crisis. I mean, her powers of concentration must be remarkable. <laughs> well, I think so. I mean, she, you know, she really doesn't have that much to do. I mean, she's got a nanny for her kids. Right. Um, and, you know, she, uh, she's been taken care of, well taken care of by mommy and daddy. So yeah. there is that. It's still, it's, it, it, it's shocking when another idol turns out to <laughs> perhaps have feet of clay. I mean, we're not judging uh, here. Thank no you, Kenneth, thanks so much for the update on that. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, Tucker. It's great. Well, it's pretty rare for us to be compared with Hitler sympathizers on this show, but it happened last night with one of our guests. Watch this. He sounded like Charles Lindbergh in 1938 saying, Hitler hasn't attacked us. I Look, beg your pardon? Slow down. Hey, slow down, Colonel. Oh, I, I'm not in any views. way. You cannot compare me to someone who would make apologies for Hitler. Up next, we'll talk to author and thinker Max Boot, who says that's absolutely right. We are like Charles Lindbergh. Stay tuned.